Hi guys, welcome to our 80s life where we're all about the 80s. And back in the 80s, we loved us some Pizza Hut, but it was actually founded here in our hometown of Wichita in 1958. Now the original Pizza Hut, the building is actually still here in Wichita but it's now a museum. So you can go there and learn about the history of Pizza Hut. We have visited that museum. We made a separate video for you guys, which I will link so you can take a look at that if you want. At that museum, they have the original Pizza Hut sauce recipe written on a napkin by Dan Carney, one of the founders. And today we're gonna try making it. So this is the original Pizza Hut recipe, as I mentioned. So as you might suspect, it makes a large quantity because it was for a restaurant. So it actually calls for two number 10 cans of tomato sauce. That's 106 ounces each. This is a lot of sauce. So we are going to be dividing the recipe in half and making a half portion recipe. So we're gonna use one of these cans. Now it also called for a number 10 can of tomato paste. However, I wasn't able to find that size can of tomato paste. Instead, I'll be using these. This is the Kirkland Costco brand of tomato paste and it comes in smaller cans but in a big box like this. So we'll be using eight of the smaller cans of tomato paste to equal the same amount of half of one of the large cans. Here are the ingredients for the original Pizza Hut sauce. The giant can of tomato sauce and tomato paste, bell pepper, onion, garlic, one celery stalk, salt, pepper, and oregano. Step one is to grind all of the veggies. It actually says to grind and freeze them, but since we're gonna cook this tonight, I'm not gonna freeze them. I'm just gonna grind all of the ingredients. And we will be using our Ninja. We've got onions, green peppers, celery, and garlic. And it basically looks like a veggie smoothie. But we're gonna put these into the sauce and that'll be the base for our recipe. Okay, this is the biggest pot that I could find. <laughs> and this is the biggest can of tomato sauce I've ever seen. So I'm gonna pour this in here. And it's really runny, but that's okay because that's what the paste is for. The paste is gonna thicken it. Now it's time to add the tomato paste. We will be adding eight of these small little cans. put salt, pepper, and oregano, but it doesn't tell us how much of each item. So I'm gonna start with one teaspoon each, and then I'm gonna taste it, and I'll let you guys know how much I ended up using. Keith is home from work, and he has agreed to be my taste tester. Now, Keith, you used to work at Pizza Hut, right? Worked at Pizza Hut and Mazio's. Mazio's. Um, okay, so did they make their sauce from scratch? No, it came in a can. <laughs> so I don't know when they started having the pre-made sauce, but in the 1950s, in 1958, when Pizza Hut was brand new, they still made it from scratch. But in the 90s when we went to Pizza Hut and you worked at Pizza Hut, they did not. 
<laughs> so. I, just, I just opened the can and dumped it in the uh, container. But maybe it was this recipe that was in the can. Well, I'm sure it's the same recipe, it was just in the can. Okay. So Keith and I are gonna taste it. We put a bunch more uh, seasonings in, and this is the final taste of just the sauce. Mm. Pretty good. That is good. Abby didn't want to go heavy on the oregano. <laughs> I told her, I said, there's not enough oregano in here, so now there is. Now you can taste it. So we ended up, in case you want to make this, we ended up with one teaspoon of salt because the sauce that I used already had some salt in it. We didn't want it to be too salty. We ended up with, help me out here, babe, six teaspoons of black pepper. Six teaspoons of black pepper. And eight teaspoons of the dried oregano. But this is a huge batch, so yeah. we definitely wanted to make sure we had enough seasonings. Yeah, we're going to have sauce for days here. <laughs> Probably for weeks, maybe years. We're going to share this. We're gonna, it freezes well. You can always freeze uh, pizza sauce in... I freeze mine in a mason jar, but you can also use the black baggies or whatever works for you. Okay, so now that we've got the sauce perfected, it's time to make some pizza. That's the fun part. Yeah. Look at that guy, he's got some skills. You know it. <laughs> Does this remind you of your days working at the pizza place? Bring back flashbacks. Okay, except you were mostly a delivery driver, right? Yeah, I was the delivery guy. I would get it there in 30 minutes or less. Ah, okay. Well, he used to bring me free pizzas when we were dating. That's how you won me over. I knew the way to Abby's heart. <laughs>